Professor Steve called the Bloomers in the Garden Hotline and shared some terrific advice on getting amaryllis to rebloom in time for Christmas. Here's his call. Hey guys, it's the Professor. And we're entering August. Very hot. But it's also time to get ready for Christmas. Yep, you heard me. Julio, it's time to brown off your amaryllis. By browning them now, they'll be ready in, in full bloom for display with beautiful flowers. Simply stop watering, deadhead the leaves, keep in a dark, cool place for 10 weeks. That will bring you to mid-October. Then simply bring out the light and the water for another 10 weeks. And that will leave you a wonderful Christmas. And you'll have gifts for you and your family. And I hope this helps everybody. Okay. See you in the garden. Bye-bye. <laughs> Professor. You know, uh-huh. I took this week off. <laughs> you did. <laughs> but I wanted to come in for a radio family. Uh-huh. I think I'm going to give the mic up to Steve oh, next time. Gosh. Uh, Steve, you nailed it. Yes, I did. Absolutely. We talk about amaryllis probably at the wrong time. We talk about amaryllis around Christmas yeah. and warn people that this is what they've got to do. But really, you reminded us that it's now no, is when you need to do it. Mm-hmm. And you're basically forcing that plant into dormancy. By don't worry, you're not killing it. You're putting it into dormancy by not watering it and basically putting it in the dark. Yeah, and it's something the plant it requires – and that, you know, we get a lot of things where there are other plants that, that require this. Um, one of the, the the things about amaryllis, though, they have those big strap leaves that once it's dried out, you cut those off. And look, it's right when you bring it out and you pull it out and you're ready to start watering it again. Um, but, I mean, it's 10 weeks. He's right. 10 weeks. And... We talk about uh, how poinsettias need to have 12 hours of light, 12 hours of darkness in order to bloom. Uh, some of the other plants that like going dormant to force into bloom, that, that uh, calanchos are, are another one that, that you kind of just cut them off with water. It's almost like you mistreat them, yeah. but don't worry. It's, it's not. They're plants. Not puppies. Right. So, and it's what's required. And it's all throughout history that these things, because it's science, right? It's science. And that where researched. Professor Steve nailed it. And, and it's, this is the time. This is the time. So if you have an amaryllis that is just sitting there and has those strap leaves and it just annoys you every time <laughs> because it doesn't seem like it's blooming, this is what you need to do. You, you need to do exactly like Professor Steve said. You've got to force it into dormancy and you start that now. And I guess the, the real bright spot is you don't have to take care of it for 10 weeks. Yeah. That's right. You know, don't worry about watering it. Put it away <laughs> you know, in the closet. Yeah, as opposed to our segment previous, you can let this one and ignore yeah, it ignore and it. let it let, let it l- appear to be dying. Yeah, but right. that giant bulb that's oh. under the soil and under the ground, that's yeah. still alive, and that that still has roots right. attached, and there's yeah. stuff going on in there, mm-hmm. and so it'll call it to bloom yeah. in time for Christmas, and yeah. that's the the trick it, is like. Like, for instance, there's um, Thanksgiving cactus and there's Christmas cactus. A lot of times that the timings for those get messed up. But Amarillo, Steve, you you absolutely nailed it. A great call all around. Um, I I can't say much more than that. 